Hey guys, I'm gonna wait until more people get in here. I'm I'm not doing stream yard, so <laughs> I'm sunburned, as you guys can see. So we'll wait for a few more people. How's everybody doing tonight? I literally have tornadoes <laughs> around me. We'll wait for just a little bit. Who is writing me? Wait just a second. There we go. Well, hello, Mama Shell Bell. Pat, nice to see you. Yes, tornadoes are, are here. That's why they did it. What had happened is like rain was coming down. Like we were sitting in torrential downpour. I, I like I had all my electronics with me, but I prepare. I, I know that stuff happens. You know, I prepare. So I literally had plastic bags and, and stuff like put to put my stuff in. And so, and I also had a poncho with me, which helped, but didn't because there was so much rain. And then the sun comes out and we're like thinking, oh my, okay, great. This is perfect. The sun's coming out. You know, this is going to go, go on. And it was just like, there was just really bad weather behind that sunshine, man. It was just, it's really, really bad. And so now they're already putting out tweets and everything about some, some tornadoes that are like 30 minutes away from me. And <laughs> I'm kind of freaking out, you know, I'm a hurricane girl. I'm not a tornado one, you know, and <laughs> it's just, it's a little crazy. I, I have to be honest with you. It, it's like really, really crazy, but um, I'm safe. I'm, I'm perfectly safe. And uh, so it's just, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I've been out here for quite a long time. I kind of screwed up my schedule because I was in Minnesota and I had to uh, cover a case, but that's okay. Cause I'm not leaving. Um, I'm not leaving here and <laughs> I'm not leaving here until um, Monday, something like that. So it's like, uh, cause I was expecting that this was, you know, I was expecting, oh, Hold on. Hold on just a second. Let me just mute this. All right, sorry about that. That was a friend. And I'm telling you, we were all so freaking exhausted. Because, there we go. Okay. So let me read some of your comments. I haven't seen you guys. I've missed you guys. I have to be honest with you. I've missed you guys. I'm ready for uh, getting Coffee Club back on track. I feel like everything is kind of a little chaotic um, when, you know, we have trials because, especially ones that are hours away. Let me turn this off for a second. Sorry, guys ones that are hours away. And, um, it's just, it, it, it's, it makes me have to start later because they are, they last eight hours, at least eight hours every single day. Hey guidance. Nice to see you. Let me say hi to everybody that's in here so far. So we got mama shell belts. Nice to see you, Pat Gaines. And I answered your question. Hey, coffee club, Sonia. It's nice to see you laughing stock. Hi. Good to, to know. Yes, yes, yes. Justice Jane, it's nice to see you in the house. Good good evening. I don't know. That's right. I, I, what time zone am I in? I don't even know what time zone I'm in, to be honest with you. I don't know what your time is compared to my time. I just know I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, Rocket Queen, it's nice to see you, Kathy. Tamara, seven, a lady seven up. It's nice to see you, Guidance. Angie, nice to see you. I know. I'm missing my own lives. I'm going crazy. And I haven't been able to get a whole lot of research done while I was out here either uh, because it was just a lot of stuff going on. But that's okay. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, we are going to be going live um, from location. And uh, that's going to be more in line with our true crime. So we're going to have coffee club tomorrow, guys. So I can't wait to see you. Sounds like Oklahoma. I, I tell you what, Rhonda, that it... Oh, 
even if we knew the tornadoes were coming, <laughs> I'd probably still be out there praying that they passed. And it was so funny because I'm like, uh, what did I say? I said something to uh, the effect of we're not front row Joes, we're going to be flying Joes. And, you know, and we laugh about it, but in reality, I mean, I just watched, I just sent the mod chat a, um, um, a feed from somebody that's recording a freaking tornado touching, like, well, it's coming out of the sky. It hasn't touched the ground yet, but it's only 30 minutes away from me. And then I realized, holy crap, this is like serious. <laughs> like there could, I, I could literally see a tornado at any moment. Like I'm, it's that, it's that real. It's crazy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sandra Kelly. Yeah, well, the, the bathroom here is, I mean, if anything happens, and it's crazy because I'm on the third floor, so, but the bathroom here has no no windows whatsoever. So if anything really did happen, I would I would get in the bathroom. But still, I mean, like I said, I, I, I'm used to, tor or, or used to hurricanes. And in Florida, we get, you know, they say they're tornadoes. They're, they, they guess they can be, but they're not like what you see here at all. And we mostly in, in Florida have these things called water spouts. And they're more, they're more off like the coast in the water. And they can come on shore and they can bring a lot of wind and they can do property damage. But it's not like this. This stuff here is scary. Like it just... It's a big mass of wind and energy that just almost levels everything in its way. And that just kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> I have to be honest with you. Oh, no, no, no. I'm in Iowa. That's what I was telling my mod chat. I'm like, you know, it does no, no point. I mean, everybody's going to know where I'm, where I'm at by Saturday, but I thought I'd <laughs> have a little fun anyways, right? Jill from the Hill. Yeah, I'm staying safe. I'm staying safe. Uh, 740. Okay, so then I'm just an hour behind. That's not too bad. It sure feels a lot longer. Maybe it's just the sun or something like that. They started filming Twisters, uh, Twister 2 in Oklahoma now. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting news. Just seeing you at the rally, being interviewed on TV. Yeah, we... Well, we're always there and everybody's, you know, it's kind of interesting because there's such a wide group of us that, you know, spread across the country and it's like, um, you never know which one, which one they'll interview, but we all, we know everybody. I mean, it's just, it's a little crazy, but we know everybody out there and, um, they know us cause they see us <laughs> a lot. <laughs> we're like a little, we're like a little distant family. <laughs> we have family reunions now. <laughs> but I have to be honest with you. <laughs> we met some folks. <laughs> I better not. I better not. I better not. Mm -mm. Never mind. Never mind. I won't, I'm not going to go there. Oh, thank you for asking, Kathy. So Mama Bullhorn, for all those people, um, for all those people out there that have been sending me emails and uh, messengers and tweets or Twitters, you know, Twitter messages and stuff like that about mom. I, I just thought that was so sweet. So thank you all that did that. Um, she is recovering well. I talked to her um, actually when she got out of surgery, well, a few hours after she got out of surgery, she was doing okay then. And I told her, I said, make sure you take your pain medicine on time because, you know, she's still, you know, anesthesia doesn't wear off that quickly. And so I know she's, and she had nerve blockers in her knee. So I just knew as soon as those nerve blockers um, started wearing off, she would start feeling it. And she did, uh, but she's doing good. Uh, the surgery was a, su a success. She's um, up and at it. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. I missed the last live, so expect me coffee club soon. <laughs> Laughing stock, don't worry. We're going to have coffee club tomorrow. We will have coffee club tomorrow. So, 
And my last live, I thought I was on there more than a minute, but I guess not. Something must have happened. I can't remember what happened, but the live, um, it was only like a minute. I don't, I can't even remember. I think I was just kind of, kind of coming in just to say hi to everybody and let you guys know I made it where I had to go. So that was just it. But we have a lot coming up uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a really long day. It's not going to be like our, our normal two hour live. Uh, that's um, you know dependent upon um, the Wi Fi. I got the I got the block. I got the charger or the um, hotspot. I got this all charged up and it's ready to go. And of course, I brought the big battery charger. I did bring that with me, and we got the tripod. I, I brought the tripod with me, so we have everything that we literally need um, to run, um, uh, alive. And that battery pack that, uh, that was donated to the channel literally lasts for hours. So <clears throat> we're going to be going live and it might be kind of hit and miss. And the, the bad thing is, is like the rental car. I, I like, I love my car. I love my car. I love my car. I love my car. I love it. It may be old and it may have a, a crap ton of miles on it, but it is a smooth riding car. Okay. It just is. And I'm in this, uh, this other car and it's a, it's an SUV too, but I mean, you like every little, and these roads out here kind of suck. <laughs> They're not Florida roads. There's like, you know, like I, I felt like I was giving you guys motion. That's why I killed the live. I think is because it was just, it was like, it was just shaking all over the place. <laughs> it was getting me, it was giving me, getting me seasick. Right. So I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know. And, and so that's going to be the only thing because we're going to be driving a lot tomorrow, you know? And <laughs> so you guys, <laughs> I'll try to, I don't know if there's even a, a like a stabilizer, uh, the, like a setting on the, um, the phone, like when you're going live, I know like when you're doing videos off the phone, <laughs> you can have like, there's like, um. I don't know what it is. It's like a stabilizer button. You know what I'm saying? Dr driving through the dirt, but it wasn't driving through the, that's the roads. I wasn't driving through the dirt. I wasn't even off the beaten path. That was the roads. <laughs> and they're concrete. They're not at, you know, the, the nice silky asphalt, they're concrete roads. So it's like when they have a crack in them, they, you have a crack in them, you know, sometimes there's like chunks of pieces, chunks of concrete, like this big, just missing it. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's, uh, you guys know I travel, but I don't, I don't pay attention to the roads, but in South Carolina, like their roads are really bad. And then I come here, these roads are not near as bad as South Carolina. They're just a lot of unevenness. And they got those, those, because it's concrete, they have those um, lines that, that they crawl, like claw through the, the concrete. So I, I, you know, the only time I've seen that, I think is like maybe going to, like Tampa or something like that. I think they have something. <clears throat> happy Mother's Day. Let's say Happy Mother's Day. The fellow Aussie moms. Yeah. Oh, is it Sunday there? But anyways, it's early, early. Yeah, I know. I gotta call Mama Bullhorn. But the good. Well, I guess the good and the bad news is, is that mom, mom was uh, she's not feeling like going anywhere. But when I get back into town, I am going to go see. Uh, go and check on her. Uh, the real me too. No, no church tomorrow. We're not. I mean, you guys can go to church. You guys can go to church, but I'm going to be doing. Um, a, well, we might be wrapped up in time to watch to to to, to attend church. Actually, we'd probably be able to have. We'll probably. I'll probably have to attend the second church because I've I've this case we've got to uh, go through, or I can just videotape it and upload it later, and then we can listen to church together. We'll play it by ear. I'm going to go live. Uh, we're going to do regular coffee club. I don't know where I'm going to be to do the coffee club. Um, but we'll be doing coffee club um, from 630 to 830 in the morning. And then we'll figure it out from from there. Maybe we'll do it a little earlier because I'm, I don't know. I just <laughs> I can't think. I'm so tired. I can't think. I can't even think. I really can't. But happy birthday to our happy birthday, happy Mother's Day to all you beautiful moms out there. And there's moms of all kinds, right? There's not there's there's biological moms, there's moms of choice, right? Uh, there's dads that are moms. 
right? So, I mean, happy, happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful women out there that take care and, and love their children. And, um, you know, you guys did a great job. Sometimes you don't know it. <laughs> I'm sure it's been many times that my mom just thought she was just, she failed, you know, but you know, even the troubled children pull through. So just always have faith. Betty, can you tell us, why does this pop up on me? Hold on a second. It just popped up on me. Can you tell us more? Uh, uh, yes, the, um, it was, so there was, we knew that there was potential for bad weather today. We knew, we kind of knew that going in. <clears throat> The bad news is, is when we hear about these things, they're usually a week or two in advance. And, you know, we check the weather, you know, do all the due diligence that you, you can do. So the due diligence for me in, in this particular uh, was that it, it looked like all the bad weather was actually going to be coming in um, on Sunday. So I figured no big deal. And when we, you know, as the, as it got closer, we realized that there was going to be some you know, severe, nothing, nothing, none of us have, haven't dealt with before. I mean, it really wasn't. We've, we've dealt with a lot of different types of events, right? Um, it's different each time. <laughs> it just is. And this one, it was, we're not used to tornadoes. I can tell you that. I'm not used to tornadoes. And um, the weather looked like it was starting to improve. And then we got the the news that there, because when w this morning we heard it was going to just be hail. We figured no big deal. Um, you know, hail's not, I, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I mean, it can cause a lot of damage and definitely hurt people. Um, but it, it, it was just hail. You know, there's plenty of tents, whatever. We can m make modifications or whatever. And, um, but then we, we talked to somebody that was higher on up and they were like, look, like this guys, there's, there's some real serious, uh, weather coming and we're not talking about hail. <laughs> so they had a direct line into the weather center and everything was handled by them. All I know is I heard, um, I, I can't remember, but it was like one of the, the uh, security officers or, or, uh, maybe it was even the private security. I'm not sure. Uh, but it was overheard the attorney saying that this is too much of a liability. And, and, and literally like right after that, you start seeing, um, secret service pulling off their vest and starting to pack up. And it's like, okay, we knew, we knew that I just looked over at Joel. And I'm like, it's done. So we've seen that before, but we just didn't realize how serious it was until we started getting some videos in. So like there's uh, tornadoes right now that's about 30 minutes from where I'm at right now. And that's a little too close for comfort. And we don't know which way they're moving either. So, and those are, they're on land or just above land, but it's, it's not, it, this is not good weather at all. Literally not good weather. Uh, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and move this one on. Uh, okay, good. Somebody already took care of that. Thank you guys. Whoever did that. And you know which one I'm talking about. Well, hello, Angela Burrell. Nice to see you. Alabama mama four. I'm so happy to see your beautiful. Oh, I'm sunburned for those that are just tuning in. Like I'm, I'm sunburned. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, that's beautiful. Oh, leaf lover. You've been delivering flowers. I thought it would be so, I thought it would be kind of a cool job. You know what? I have to be honest with you. Whenever I got married, it was one of my friends. She actually worked at a flower shop. She didn't work at a flower shop anymore, but she had that experience from the flower shop. She made all my bouquets. We went like to like one of those um, wholesale florists and she made all my bouquets, fresh flower bouquets for my shotgun wedding. <laughs> I love flowers. I love fresh flowers. Hi, real me too. Did you get the sun? Oh yeah. You travel with other people. I noticed you're always say we, 
I, I travel with, I travel with a lot of people. Mostly I travel with like three or 400 <laughs> typically. But there is a team. I mean, it's not just me, guys. I mean, you guys are part of the team, but I have a whole mod, a whole mod squad. I mean, it, you know, trust me, it's not just a, a, a bullhorn betty effort here. I have to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm a criminal paralegal and florist. I love it. I love it. I bet you the, the florist part is probably what relaxes you from the paralegal. Because <laughs> I can see it. I could see me doing that. Well, we're not out of the woodworks yet, Pat, because uh, here's why. I don't know what's going on around me. I haven't even checked the, the weather um, since getting into the hotel. So I don't know how bad the weather is getting out there. And quite frankly, I'm one of those people when I'm in a situation like this, I really don't want to know. Um, when I, when I start feeling uncomfortable is when I start taking precautions. I mean, that's just, you know, I, but I don't want to be freaking out here for like, you know, the next four hours, if it's just going to blow over, I, I'm not even pulling the curtains back to look at the outside. I, I'm really not. If I feel something, or I hear something and I need to take, I, I will take care of it, but I'm not going to freak myself out because I am not used to tornadoes and I know how I am and I will end up making myself literally sick. Oh, thank you, KB. That's so sweet. Aww, aww. You have to come to South Carolina to get them. Well, I may just take you up on that. Come to South Carolina to get a bouquet of, of, of flowers. I love that. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. You know, I might actually be coming back to South Carolina. Um, you know, Alec Murdoch is not done yet, right? And quite frankly, I would like to see him again. Bullhorn Betty has this massive crush on Alec Murdoch. So much so, I want to see him go to jail again. I do have this crush on him. I have a crush on watching a criminal go to jail. And not only that, the most despicable of uh, the despicable, right? Like this guy cared of no one. And I still can't figure out why Buster appears to be his pride and joy. I really can't figure that out. I wish somebody, I wish somebody could figure that out for me, but honestly, I can't figure that out, but it doesn't, it seem, I mean, it, I almost want to, can I put a, Oh, I can put a poll in here. Look at that. Cause I'm not on, on, um, and the reason why I didn't go through StreamYard is cause it seems to take a lot of bandwidth and the, the internet here is really, really crappy. So I've been using the, um, hotspot to run this. The hotspot works great in here is everything. Um, looking good. I mean, I expect it to be fuzzy because I only got a 720p um, camera on this MacBook Pro. Um, but, you know, for the most part, I'm not like hiccuping or anything like that, right? All right. What is my poll going to be? Hmm. Let's go with this one. We'll go with this one first. And then we'll expand off that. Because I'm curious, because it just seems like he has this I don't know. It just something. I mean, I, I'm not going crazy here. I don't think. <laughs> Who knows? The hater said I'd already. I've already been crazy. <laughs> Coffee is my curse word. She says I have been in two tornadoes. That has to be scary. I I don't know. I I, I just I don't want to think about it because I just feel like right now in my heart and soul I'm fine. I'm gonna be fine. And everything's just going to be fine, you know. And I, I, when you're this far away from home, that's what you have to think. <laughs> because there's no turning back at this point. I 
I know. I, uh, Sonia says, how sad is it for people to live their lives to post rude comments? I know. It's so sad. It, it, it is kind of sad. But you know what? It, it says more about them than it says about anybody else because, you know, it's not anybody going over there and doing that to them. It's them coming over here. So it's them. They just haven't, they, they don't get that. They, they, they literally are so, they, they, they have no self-awareness for it whatsoever. None whatsoever. Like nobody's doing that to them. Nobody gives a crap about them. Move on. Like, what happened? Just think there's a lot of mental instability on YouTube. Tornado sound uh, found my freight train. That's what I heard. That's why I said if I hear anything or see anything, I've never, I mean, outside of like watching those, um, has, has anybody watched those um, twist, like Twister? But it's not the movie. It's not like a movie. It's like the um, real life where they drive into twist. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what they're talking about. But anyways, um, the, uh, yeah, I, that's what I, I, outside of watching that, but even then, I, I can tell you that after doing what I do and in, in, in shooting different things and realizing that cameras are different, like it, you, you get so much more being there than actually even footage from cameras and everything else. And it's like, you know, even the sound that, that they, they can have the best microphones, but you're never going to get that sound like I, I just don't believe they'll ever have that sound perfect. And except somebody would, would be able to hear the, a, a slight difference, maybe the pitch, maybe how loud, but I've always heard that it is very, very loud because you got to think this thing is like tearing stuff apart. It's just breaking it and shredding it into just pieces. And so all of that's got to be making, I can't even imagine what God awful noise that has to, I don't want to think about it. I should not be, I should, we should not be talking about this right now. We should not be talking about this right now. <laughs> we should not be talking about this right now. If you hear a train whistle, get in the bathtub. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They do have those little tornado warning things. Don't they out here? I hope I have to think they have something because I don't watch the news. Maybe notifications on our phone. Uh, somebody's just, somebody, hold on. Somebody just sent me something and I know I recognize the, okay. Thank you. So today, today is a victorious day for the victims of Alex Murdaugh. Uh, we are pleased with judge Hale's ruling denying Alec Murdaugh's request for 160,000 of attorney fees for his appeal. Wow. Judge denied his ruling. He is not giving Alec Murrah a $160,000 check for his appeal. I think what they're trying to do is get all that money from that trust spent. Uh, the subway guy is only being charged with manslaughter. Oh, good. Well, still, you know, that, that whole situation, um, again, I had my commentary on the subway guy and it's like, you know, at, at some point he, he was no longer a threat, but sometimes this is the issue. And this is, this I hear because I, I, I have friends as well as family members that have been in the military. The problem is, is especially when it comes to say combat type of military personnel, especially some that that may have come back that may have some type of PTSD, either diagnosed or undiagnosed. The issue is, from what I'm understanding, is that when you're in, you're, you're, you go to a, like you you go back to your training. You don't stop until they stop, right? So I don't know if, I, I don't think that that was this guy's intent. And I really think for them to prove anything other than manslaughter, 
they would have to prove intent. And, and I just don't see the intent to want to hurt him uh, being there. He didn't want to hurt this guy, in my opinion. Uh, he wanted to subdue him. It just went a little too far. And, and you know what? And, and at the end of the day, we know these chokeholds are, are not good because we, we've seen many people die from them. So I, I just really believe that, you know, if, if he did have him, it shouldn't have been that tight. There were other passenger that were could have, could have clearly held the guy's hands. Uh, there was other, you know, less. But we don't know what the vibe was in that in that subway. We don't know how this how how truly erratic this this man was acting we don't know what true threat it obviously had to have been something pretty significant to have that many passengers trying to hold this man down okay so let's just this idea that this guy wasn't doing anything wrong and this marine just went up to him and, and did this uh, that that has got to go out the window that is not the truth there was something significant that happened on that subway uh, that scared the, you know, scared the people on there. They fe feared for their safety. Not just one person. Many people in that car feared for their personal safety. And I think that just went a little too far. I don't think the intent was there. I don't think it, it was ever the intent of anybody on that uh, train to cause harm to that man other than to subdue him from, from hurting himself or somebody else. <clears throat> did you hear about the lady who wrote a ch yes stacy love i did i did read that um i've been so busy <coughs> excuse me i've been so busy i haven't even had a chance i was actually going to do a video on that that is insane so if you don't know what Stacey Love is talking about here in the chat where she says, did you hear about the lady who wrote the children's book about grief is now arrested for murdering her husband? So this lady, uh, it, it, the, the way I'm understanding it, if I remember it correctly, the way it, the way it happened is this lady's um, husband died. And as a result of it, because if I'm not mistaken, she's a mom. And she ended up writing a book about how it to you know, for the grieving of children because she was watching her kid. That's my understanding. Now, I could be way off this because I just read this. It was several days ago that I read about that, but I did hear that. And then she ended up ultimately being arrested um, for his death. Now, wasn't it something like poisoning that she did or, or something like that? I, it wasn't like, it wasn't a gun or, or something like that. It was something weird. So, Stacey, I'll, I'll watch for your comment down below to see if you respond to that. But, yeah, I do remember that. He should uh, he should have let go, period. Yeah, I, I, and I'm not, I'm not disputing that at all, Mandy. I, I'm not disputing that at all, and I've said that very, very thing. Um, you know, I wasn't, I, 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 I wasn't, um, I, I think, I don't think I really sugarcoated it. I really don't because I even said in the video that I did that I thought it, it that 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 was that was uh, that was too far it was excessive in my opinion and you know I because I know it did it didn't appear that the guy's intent was there so because I don't feel like his intent was there to hurt this man um that's when I'm starting to try to figure out what would make him go too far. We know he's the military and it might've just been that military um, training that kicked in. It might even have been, we don't know what he was experiencing mentally. Could he have possibly had a little bit of PTSD or something because of that, that, that shocked him. Um, you know, we don't know. We don't know. But I do believe there's more to the story. But I absolutely uh, believe that it was excessive. There's there's no doubt about it. And I and I actually think the a manslaughter charge is justified. And quite frankly, now, I don't know if it'll be pled out because it could be extenuating circumstances, such as I said, you know, he is 
military? Could this be like a PTSD issue that this guy triggered him and he went into action? And, he, you know, we don't know. And we talk a lot about a lot of it uh, about PTSD. And, and this would be one of the, the cases where I would think it would apply more so than, say, like Dylan Mortensen. Remember when everybody was trying to say that Dylan Mortensen suffered from PTSD? And I'm just like, there, no, no, it's, it's hard to... No, I didn't ever believe that. I never believed that for a second that she suffered from PTSD. But if that was raised in this case, I, I really think I would understand it a little bit more and probably would uh, be more open um, to that opinion, theory, perspective. <clears throat> Thing keeps that's one thing I don't like about this. This thing does pop up on me. Let me try to find out where I just was. I can't find. Dad, burn it. It it just literally popped up on me. Oh, there there it is. Okay, I'm I'm back where I was. Uh, I thought I <clears throat> I thought I. Subdue him till cops got there. At least he was there to stop the other dude from killing people. And, and I, I don't know what the, I don't know how erratic this, this um, uh, guy was, the Neely guy. I, I don't, you know, because we only see the, the clips that, 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 that we're seeing are, are, are after the, the incident that Neely caused. You know, this is the, um, the result of the action he he caused on that subway. So I, I have not seen any video of actually how he was acting inside there. And I have to think these subway carts have, um, you know, feeds in them. They have to have something monitoring what's going on in those carts. And if they don't, to me, that seems like a liability on who, whatever county, city, state is is running that that subway. Because you, they, even the county, cities, and, and, and states have a duty of keeping their passengers safe. And you're putting a people in a closed area, in a closed environment um, that can be injured and hurt. Especially if it's it's just a woman and a guy in, the, in there. And there's no cameras to monitor the situation. That, 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 just, that just doesn't seem, seem plausible or feasible. It seems crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. But... You know, again, we don't know. We're getting only we're only getting part of the information. Let's let's be honest. We're only getting part of the information, and we just it is conjecture at this moment. Yes, we've seen a video, but again, it's still conjecture because we don't know, and we can't definitively say what happened prior to um, that uh, marine, uh, you know, subduing uh, the, the 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 gentleman on the subway, and it went too far. It went too far. There's no doubt about it. Formerly a nurse, I handled violent uh, patients all the time, and I, 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 I'm sure that it can't be, uh, it can't be comfortable. And, and the good news is, but in, in in those types of situations, you know, you, in some cases, I shouldn't say, you know, all the cases, but in some cases, I know that there's a there's security um, at hospitals, and there's also orderlies that help can help restrain or other, um, you know, larger nurses. My cousin is a a nurse. Um, and he, or I can't remember exactly what he's in the medical field and he's one of the, he's one of a bigger guy. So when they need to, to, they'll, they'll bring him in to help, you know, he's a nice guy. So it's not like he's there to manhandle anybody or anything like that. It's just, that sometimes you just need somebody that's bigger that has the weight to, to, to restrain. And, um, so it, it, you know, but that's not what you really necessarily have on a, a subway is it, it's just unfortunate. It, this whole situation is just unfortunate. And um, there's not going to be any winners in, in this whole situation either. And, uh, you know, a Marine is is dealing with something. And, and, and I truly believe all he was trying to do was help. Um, and again, it just, he didn't want to. They don't know their strengths, let alone how to stop when they get go that far. That's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at. But you still have to be responsible for your actions. Nobody, nobody's saying that, 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 you know, he should not be held accountable. We are all held accountable. Listen, people make mistakes all the time. They have accidents all the time and they have to go to jail for it. They didn't mean to do it. It just, something happened, you know? 
some people realize that it's a punishment and they take it with grace. And some people, you know, end up coming out there worse than they went in. It's just, it, you never know. He saw something and did something uh, finally. Um, and that's up for, that's up for interpretation because we don't know to the extent of this other guy uh, just yet. And, and that, that may very well be a true statement, but I don't want to rush to judgment um, because we don't know the situation. <clears throat> And quite frankly, it's in New York, right? And I just don't trust New York. I don't. Yes, it did go too far. <clears throat> and being a Marine, he should have known better. But don't believe he tried to kill him. Absolutely. 100% couldn't have said it better than that. He was uh, threatening a bunch of people. Yeah, I, I did get that. I did get that, but I don't know. You know, it's one thing just to be, you know, um, threatening, like um, verbally threatening somebody. It's another, it's totally different to like say lunge at them or almost look like you're going to attack them or something. So it, it really depends to the degree. And that's, that's important for me. It really is important for me because if he was just act, acting erratic and they went to this level, I would be even more, I, I'd probably be a little more um, upset about this and probably have something different to say vocally, as opposed to him just, you know, wanting to, you know, just lunge at people and, and, and violently hurt somebody or, you know, just acting erratic. And, and it, I, I want to know the degree. I, I really, it, it, it matters to me. It matters to me. Um, his training kicked in and this guy had a uh, rap sheet a mile long. He should have never been on the streets. That That's a good uh, perspective, Tyler. I, I don't know that, that this needly, I hadn't had a, even time to check his background. So, um, if he has an extensive background, then, you know, it goes back to New York should have probably had him admitted into a mental facility or not allowed him back out on the streets, or at least without giving him some wraparound services to help with maybe some mental illness or something like that. Uh, and, you know, just because somebody's mentally ill, it doesn't mean that I have to be abused or, 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 or have to worry about my safety because that person's mentally ill. And I, I want to make sure that that's very clear here. Um, you know, we definitely, I definitely want people to, if you know somebody is, is mentally ill, take the necessary precautions. And, and if you ever have to um, have law enforcement come, make sure you let them know that the person does suffer from some whatever mental illness that they suffer. You want to make sure that that officer's safe and, and as well as whomever you're calling, even if you don't like them, you still don't want the officer to be fear for his life because, you know, they will have to take necessary precautions. But if you let them know that the, the, the person is mentally ill when they're dealing with them, it can change the whole way they handle the entire situation. So please be cognizant. I'm not saying, you know, if you have mental, don't have not call the law. You want to call the law, but you also want to make sure that you're educating these people on what they're actually dealing with. And maybe, you know, counseling, they have to do what they have to do. So if somebody's being uncooperative, they're going to have to handle that as uncooperative, but at least they won't, they won't go to that threat level that where, you know, they have to pull out guns or, or something like that. They'll may, may um, decide to use, let's say a taser or pepper spray or something less lethal because they know that this is a mental illness case and not a, they're going, they're going to try to kill the cop case. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what it's, it's, you know, and, and cops should be trained to handle uh, mental illness, but, I, I, I'm not. So if somebody's coming after me and I don't know their, their, uh, and I'm, I'm saying not necessarily me, I'm using me as the example, but, but if he's coming after me and is completely a lunatic and crazy, you, you know, if, it, to be honest with you, if I fear for my life and I have my pistol on me, you know, here I am because this person should, shouldn't even be out in the public. He should, he or she should be, you know, under uh, care of a doctor, you know, that's not something anybody wants to do. Can you imagine like this guy's pro this guy, this Marine, I mean, Neely's family's going through a lot of pain. I'm sure this guy, his family's going through a lot of pain all over what, because the state of New York couldn't take care of Neely before it got to this point. You could spin it that way as well. I mean, there is a lot of avenues to look at this instead of just pointing this at one direction or the other. So I don't know. I, there's just a lot more. There, I just feel like there's a lot more going on here, and I think we need to get to the the root the root cause of it before we make <clears throat> before we make any determination one way or another.
whose fault it is. You know, clearly there was something that happened and what would that something was or to what degree we need to know. Buster, Buster, Buster is the most like Alec M E. That's a good point. Maybe that is exactly uh, what it is. But we're gonna find out what the audience. It looks like the audience says, and we're gonna have to do another poll on that. So um, this guy is, yeah. This and I get that a coffee is my curse word, and I'm not trying to. Um, you know, speak negatively about anybody. I'm just trying to be as, as thorough and as accurate as possible. And sometimes accuracy can be perceived, uh, you know, facts can be perceived as negative, as being negative. And unfortunately, this is a true crime channel. So we have to talk about it. <laughs> um, yep. Three young boys. That's what I thought. And, the, and if you guys want to wondering about the three young boys, this is Stacey Lowe. I'm just now getting back to her comment. And I was talking to um, this, she was, she had brought up uh, the fact that um, there was a book author that ended up getting arrested and going to jail for her husband's murder and come to find out there was some things and I was just, I, I was going off my brain, but I did read, I did read about it, but I, it, I it's just, I'm trying to remember everything. She tried to poison him with, that's it. That's it. I mean, I knew it was something like that. I knew it because I remember reading it and I'm like, man. And I, I thought it was so crazy that, you know, this would be something that I would make a video of. And I was going to make a video of it, but I haven't had time. I literally have had no time. The videos that I, that I made that one day were, I, I was lucky. And that was because we were still waiting for people to get here. It's absolutely insane. POS. Um, now these kids no longer have, have their dad because of her. Yeah. Their mom will be in jail for life and they're young. Maybe she, maybe that's the reason why she wrote the book. Did she, now, am I correct? Did she write, she did write the book. Let me keep reading. Maybe you guys have already answered this. Hold on. Oh, yeah, Caroline. That's why I said sometimes, uh, Caroline says, have you ever restrained a mentally ill person? They have phenomenal strength. They do. And that's why I said, you know, my my cousin, he's a bigger, uh, uh, he's a big boy. And um, they call him, he's sweet. I mean, he's, he's a big teddy bear. But, you know, just for the, the body weight um, aspect, uh, they call him in when they have situations like that. This just went up on me. Hold on. So Cheeky Chap says, I, I'm one of those people. I accidentally fired a gun at my house and was arrested. Shit happens. Didn't mean it at all. Yeah. I mean, it, <clears throat> things, I mean, we, people, that's what I'm saying. They're, people are imperfect. I mean, we all make mistakes. Sometimes we just pray to God that our mistakes aren't, you know, that if we have a mistake or an accident, it's not going to, you know, kill someone, you know, but at the end of the day, accidents happen all the time. Accidents happen all the time. And, and mistakes happen all the time. And I can't find out where it popped up on me again. Let me just keep going through here. Cause I guess I'm done. Oh, Who's this? Miss Robin. Buy dinner. Uh, and spend it on a FOIA request or put it happy here. Yeah, I do have a couple requests out there. And I'm about to I'm about to drop a few more requests out there uh, for some stuff. But when we get back, we're gonna be back. Um we're definitely gonna be back the we're gonna be um in Florida all of May. And I think To like mid June, and then I think after that is when we'll um, well, depending on you know cases and stuff like that, we'll we'll probably be getting back out there on the road a little bit more. So thank you, love. Thank you. And of course, you know where we're going. June. Um, I'm watching that like a hawk because I'm starting to see in the Brian Koberger case, I'm starting to see the delay. They're going to now 
that this is starting to come up because once this preliminary hearing is done, or if they go through the grand jury indictment type of avenue, this is going to start moving and moving very quickly. And they're going to try to delay, 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 delay. The more that they can delay, the more they can drag out, the more record requests they can get, the more they can try to, you know, and they need, they are entitled to as much information as they can possibly get. I mean, they are entitled to, but there's also some things that they're not entitled to. Um, you know, they're in, in certain cases, in certain cases that might be work product for the state. They're not entitled to, you know, their, their stuff. Uh, I think manslaughter is a good charge for what happened. Alabama Mama Forces, I think that manslaughter is a good charge for what happened. We aren't law enforcement and can't take the law into our own hands. I'm trying to look at it from both views. Yeah, exactly. And and I am too because, you know, in certain cases you, you have no choice, you know, but it, it truly is to subdue, you know, not injure. I don't like the chokehold, okay? I just, I don't like it. Uh, I have not liked it. I don't like it for law enforcement. I don't like it being utilized. Um, I, I just don't like it. It's, it's, I, I don't even like it in extreme, you know, the extreme fighting and stuff like that. I don't like it. I think it is very, 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 very dangerous. And, um, you know, you, you can, what is that? The high, high, low, high, whatever that thingy is in, in there. I am, I, I don't do medical stuff. I, 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 every now and again, I get it, but the high, what is it? A hyoid or something like that bone in, in your neck. It, it's because you can break that. And in, in, in that's, it's just, it's entirely too, it's entirely too dangerous. It's not necessary uh, to use for, um, especially not that long. Like I, I watched, that whole thing. And he had his, he, it was just too long. It was just too long. He restrained them enough. He didn't, they didn't, it, it didn't need to be until the, I mean, not like that. I'm, I'm just sorry. It, it, to me, it just, it was too, too long. And, and people have to know that that was going to, you know, maybe he was just trying to make him pass out until they got, you know, in, in that very well, but the, the, the hype, you know, it's, I don't like it. I don't like it. Remember that naked man who attacked police in New York? He was on Spice. I forgot. Anyways, he was. Oh, yes. I, yes, that was a little too much. I'm going to have to remove that because it's a little too much. <laughs> Sorry. Not that not, I'm just removing it. I, I, I don't think it. I don't. I, hopefully it doesn't tie me out or anything like that. But I, I don't. A little too graphic. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully they didn't knock you or anything like that. Um, Betty, did you see six kids missing after parents reported for abuse? No, I haven't. I haven't looked at anything. As a matter of fact, every now and again, I'll go pop on and just check it out because I'm, I'm a true crime junkie. So I can't live without, you know, watching and monitoring true crime is just what I do. But, um, no, I have not heard that. I haven't even seen that. Uh, I haven't seen that at all. Very scary when they are, um, doped up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sure. Restrain them. We had to learn, um, that when, it, when I did it right. And yeah. And that's exactly it. Like he could have held him down just like that until other people got there, but you saw several other people there. He could have given them instructions like, guys, I, I need one of you to hold his hand, one hand. I need you the other one to hold the other hand. And I need, I need one, somebody come here and hold his feet. And as soon as he was restrained, that, that, whatever, however he had to take him down should have stopped. It should have ceased right then and there. And this man would have been alive. He would have went back to jail. Every, this, this Marine would have probably been hailed a hero and everybody would have, it would have been a great day. This went terribly, terribly wrong. Yeah. <clears throat>
you all can check out the article in the New York Post. You can find it, uh, um, uh, find out who Joseph Neely is per his own aunt. Wow, per his own aunt. I know of a situation, a guy who was serving life for our in an open prison escaped and still on the run. Why would a be put in an open prison? That is a great, that is a great question, K Bay. Can you send me that article so I can do some research on it? That is interesting. Even if I don't cover it, cover it, I, I it almost feels like I I still would want to do a record request, uh, a few record requests just for my own conscience. He's a Marine. They need to let him go. I, I, I don't believe just because you are of military that that gives you a carte blanche right to do whatever you want. And I come from my uncle, uh, retired military, um, my stepdad, retired military. Um, you know, I've got friends. I, I have my best friend's son. You know, he came back really messed up from, you know, Afghanistan and, um, so I don't give anybody just a blank check, no matter who they are. I think that's very dangerous in my opinion, but you know, he is a Marine. I think he, he has deserved at least an ounce of respect, um, from these, from, from everybody. And he, you know, again, this was, this was just a, a very, this was a terrible, a terrible accident. I mean, he didn't intentionally do it, but he has to be held accountable for, um, his actions period. Just as we all are, we are all required to be responsible. And, you know, we have to, we have to be accountable for our own actions. And this is, it's an unfortunate situation that he, he was just trying to help, but he put himself in and it went too far and he's responsible for that. There's, it's unfortunate. Now that's, again, there, there are, there could be extenuating circumstances we know nothing about. You know, we don't know. And he could be found not guilty for all we know. We, we don't know where this legal process is going to end. They may drop all the charges after they get everything back. We don't know. This is just the beginning. And again, I just don't, I, I just don't trust. I, I just don't. I, I, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I, I, I like, I like people. I know there are a lot of people from New York. I like the people. I just don't like the, the other stuff. This never should have been made into an issue about race. This is about mental health concerns. We see that we see this every single day and very little is being done. Uh, yeah. And, and that's what I was saying that that was not an issue. And I, I don't understand why it was be, try, why they were trying to make it into that issue because I, I really truly believe that, um, that issue should re if it's going to be used, it should be used when it's really happening because it's like the boy that cried wolf, you know, you keep crying wolf when the wolf comes, nobody's going to believe it because it was drowned it out. And it's like, you know, if there is, you know, something that's going on when it is a racial issue, you know, I think we should know about it. Um, but this was the furthest thing from that I could ever see. So, I just don't understand why that would have been said. And not only that, but from politicians, that, that was, that, that's dangerous. It's just dangerous. Yeah. Cheeky chops does make a valid point. You'll never know if the charges um, are legit until discovery comes out. This is a lot of hearsay from what I know, uh, from what I uh, know now, the Marine is, Super Fidelis to the fullest. Thank you, Maureen, for keeping us safe. Okay. Let's see what else we got. And I saw something else and I missed it. I know there, there was another person that, oh, there it is. I, I just passed over it. Thank you, Carla. Stay safe. Love the more blonde hair. <laughs> Yeah, the pink's almost just, I think the pink's just about out. If it, you know, the sun, uh, the, the, the <clears throat> but like I said, we, I, I, I'm kind of glad that, that she put the temporary stuff in. If I would have known it was temporary, I would have done something completely different uh, than putting it in. I thought it was more permanent. So I wanted her to blend it in like, you know, low lights and highlights, which is what she did. 
But um, I, I like that Robin sent me a picture of this like uh, pale pink and it's more of a, that pale pink I know for a fact is more permanent. And so I'm thinking maybe we'll try it again, but I'm just going to have to tell the hairdresser the exact product I want because I, you know, that, that putting, putting that in the way I had her put it in was, um, you know, timely. So obviously you got to pay for the time. So I'd rather it be more, a little more permanent, but I did actually like it. I thought it was, I, I, I thought the pink broadened my horizons a little bit. I really did. I thought it broadened, broadened my horizons just a little bit. Just a little bit. Voucher, it's nice to see you. Book came out one year later. Then she was arrested two weeks after the book came out. Now you can't buy the book. They pulled it. Well, hey, I, I'm glad they pulled it as opposed to, um, you know, it being a, now a sold out book because of it. Like, you know. Like that, that, that's what bothers me. And, and actually, if it did become a, uh, a selling sensation, the great, the horrible thing about it, not the great, the horrible thing about it is I really believe that publisher would actually put it back out for it to make a buck. So I don't know if there's a reason why that, that it was pulled, but I need to check this. I turned my ringer off and now I don't know if people are trying to get a hold of me. Just go through some of the stuff. Oh, I like getting, I like seeing Sleuthy Goosey's um, posts. So she just posted just a, looks like just a, like a minute ago. It says, to clarify, for those who saw the post earlier, I removed after finding seller docs and pics of the buyer in the front of the house besides the white Elantra. Oh, that was, I think that was, um, when they were they, there, I guess there's a discussion going on right now about that white Elantra that was possibly um, could possibly or potentially um, be the culprit as opposed to Brian Koberger. And I think she found a, I have to look. I was just perusing through a little bit ago and I saw something to the effect of uh, maybe those people that had that white Elantra that was in that Google search. Remember, everybody was doing Google searches and like, oh, my gosh, there's a white Elantra right around the corner. Remember all that? And because we even went there. Remember, we went looking for that white Elantra. We went looking for the house that had the white Elantra uh, in that Google image which was from, I think, September 2022. And apparently, I guess the people had sold the house. So I don't even think that that car was even there at that time. It, possibly, possibly. I'm, 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 un, I'm unsure, possibly. You never know if the charges... Uh, we, oh, I'm finally back to where I was. I must have went up way too far when I was, when I was looking back. Uh, he doesn't need to be held accountable. It totally depends on the true story, second by second, a length of choke. I can tell you, but see, Cheeky Chops, the problem is that length of, of the choke. I mean, we we were watching. I, I got it on a video. There's a video. Um, it's a like an eight-minute video, but it's really only like, like because put, I'm, I'm putting the, the intro at the end. I'm doing a little short intro up front and then putting the, the actual my actual intro at the end which I'm going to modify. I just haven't figured out how I'm going to do it yet because I'm, I'm trying to, to do, well, I don't want to give, give too much away, but uh, e either way, it, it, when I was watching that, it looked like it was the, it, at least what was put out there. And the, the bit that I, I saw and it was pretty lengthy. I mean, you got to think if you cut off somebody's restrict somebody's air for two minutes or more, you know what I'm saying? Like you're really in danger. You're, you're, that, that's, that's a lot. It was, it was, um, I don't think it was two minutes. I don't know. I didn't time it. I didn't time it. But if you watch the video, I've got it. Um, I think it was, what is it called? Hold on. I'll tell you in just a second. Hmm. It is titled, oh, I didn't, that's right, I didn't do that. Did I... What did I, did I not release? Oh, there it is, duh. Uh, developing story. 
it's the last video that I, I published. It was the last video that I published and um, it, it has the video in it. I, I posted it. So if you want to go over there and watch it, by all means, please do. Let's see what else we have. That's why I just moved to Florida where my castle doctrine works. I have gun now. Well, it's nice to know that you're in Florida, Cheeky Chops. I would ask you what part of Florida, but you probably don't want to, you probably don't want to tell me on, 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 in the uh, feed. But if you, if you want, if you feel uh, like you want to, or you can send me that information at four. Uh, okay. So you're, you're just, you're further south from me. Have you ever gone to seed to table? It's a worry these days more when children and women aren't safe. Yeah. Oh, good. <clears throat> I bet they will try and get a plea deal. I'm sure I, I hope that, you know, I really think, but you know what, in, in all fairness, real me too. I think that this, this, this particular case with this Marine, I, I do believe that this would be a, a, a good one uh, for a plea deal. I really do. I think this would be a good one for a plea deal. If we don't have an overzealous prosecutor, which clearly we do. And that's the problem I have with this, this whole thing, you know, in the arrest record, I, I just, or the arrest it's, I mean, at, at, at any point because of the situation, I think, well, no, because even, even here, even here in Florida, whenever there was gun, whenever there was a, a, um, a shooting or anything like that, no matter what, at one point here in Florida, no matter what, it didn't matter whether you had a legitimate self-defense claim, whether it was, whether the self-defense was on video, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. They still arrested you and you still went to jail. It was for the state. It was for the prosecutor and the court to decide, which went against our laws. I mean, that wasn't how it was. If you have a legitimate claim, they have to investigate before they arrested you. And, and so that ended up changing where, um, you know, they made, made it where you, you cannot just automatically assume that whoever fires the gun has to go to jail. They have to prove that there was a crime committed before they can put those handcuffs on you. And if you claim self-defense, they have to prove it's not self-defense. So, and it was a kid, it was a kid that was, uh, you know, what changed the law here in Florida. I'll tell you, I remember it. It was a kid on a motorcycle. He was on a motorcycle and a, a guy in a car, um, had road rage. I guess maybe the, something happened, um, and this, but this guy was like enraged. So when this, um, this kid was getting off of his motorcycle, this guy just rush gets out of his car and rushes him. And, uh, the guy steps back and you could see him pull his gun. And he, he told, and I remember he told the guy, you could see, clearly see the gun in his hand and you could clearly see him communicating with this guy. And this guy lunged at him and he shot him dead. He shot him dead. And they went and arrested him. And he said, this was clear self-defense. Why am I being arrested? And they actually took that. I don't know if it went to the Supreme Court or went to the governor or went to, you know, somebody else. But they they changed that quickly because that was clear, clear self-defense. And that, that young boy now has an arrest record. Not in a conviction, but he has an arrest record for murder. And I'm sorry, he, he, he should not have an arrest record for murder. They should have had to, they had the video in their hand. There was clearly no violation of law. <clears throat> All the people on the train are supporting the Marine and thanked him protecting the other men that were helping try to control him. Yeah, there's definitely, I, I, and Nuki, I, 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 is it Nuki or Nuki? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> if it's Nookie, I'm going to be blushing every time I call your name. Um, <laughs> you know what? Just like Kyle Rittenhouse, I drove by. I almost stopped. I almost pulled a JLR. I have to be honest with you. I almost pulled a JLR because I was driving um, back from lunch with my friends today. And I drove by Rittenhouse Road, spelled exactly the same way. 
And I almost stopped and I'm like, no, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Um, people on the train are supporting the Marine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then what is the arrest records are just as bad as a conviction but can be expunged. Sometimes they can and sometimes they can't. It, it is not a guarantee that you can have anything expunged from your record. Period. Nothing. There is no guarantees. You can apply. Maybe you can get it expunged. There are no guarantees. Uh, my arrest record when I fired the gun accidentally was eventually expunged. It's called non-convicted non-conviction data. But again, it depends on what state you're in. Some states, some states are harder than others. Like here in Florida, forget it. It's 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 next to impossible to have have your stuff expunged. It really is. Like life, it depends. Yeah, it really does. And it, it, and it changes like, so, you know, one state may be one way where the other state may be another way. Um, one state, and I don't, I don't know if this is true. I'm just, it, just give it an example. One state may say if, if you haven't had any, if you haven't been in trouble, you know, for 20 years, you can apply to have it expunged. One, one may say it, it you have to be 15 years. One may say something else. One may say, if you never get in trouble, if you haven't been in trouble in the last five years, last 10 years, last 20 years, you can have it expunged. One, Another state may say, if you have been uh, charged with more than one crime, you cannot have either one of them, whether you're convicted or not. If you've ever been charged with one or more crime, you can't have one of them, not one of them expunged. It really depends. I don't know from state to state, but I know it's hard here in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, and they're very expensive. They're, they're absolutely very expensive. I was arrested for a fight in uh, 2010 and the charges were dropped against me. I never went to court, but if I look at my name, it still shows the arrest. Yeah. I think we all need to start wearing body cameras. You know what? Everybody laughed at our crew for always having cameras on and always having cameras rolling. And now you know why. See? You can't, you can't sit there because we were, you know, if we didn't have cameras, like even literally now, if I have cameras literally on me all the time, all the time. So there is no if, ands, or buts about it. I will not, I will never show receipts. If there's something that I need to show or, or, or prove, I do it in my mod chat in the, in privacy. I'll show my mods. I don't bring, I don't bring it. I, believe me, don't believe me. I don't care. <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> You know, that's on you. Yeah, each state, its own country. It's fascinating that some people uh, fail to understand. It's not where you're from. It's about where you're at. What does expunge mean? Uh, so expungement, it, it means that they remove it as if it didn't happen. They remove it out of their system. It's, it's, as, it, it's as if it didn't happen, as none of it didn't happen. On your record, obviously you have the memory of it, but other than that, it's it's off websites. It's out of their county records. It's out of their arrest records. It's it's gone. It's it, it's as if it never happened. It's that like there's literally no paper trail. I mean, there's paper trail behind the scenes, but nothing that can that's accessible to the public. <clears throat> I went to the bureau and got it expunged. Well, Mercury, that doesn't make sense um, because uh, what bureau are you going to? Because it, it doesn't work that way. In order, in, in order for you to have an expungement, you it's just not going to a bureau. I mean, there's a there's court. There's uh, if you were in Florida, there's a lot more than um, just going through it. I'm uh, I can tell you that. It means to delete the data. Yeah. Hide it from general public. Exactly. Nobody can get it. Well, I mean, somebody can get it. <laughs> it but it can't be released. And it can't be held against you. Um, the 
court clerk takes it out of the day. Yep. I don't know how, how it's all done, but I know it's like as if it didn't happen. So they take the um, arrest, they take all of this stuff out. But either way, all right, guys, it's 8 o'clock my time. Oh, I'm tired. And we've got a long day tomorrow. And I'm like super, super dehydrated. I kind of ate. I, ate. I actually ate more today than I've eaten. eaten in a while but anyways i will see you guys bright and early tomorrow you guys have a wonderful evening and god bless each and every one of you until next time be safe and don't forget to be kind to one another and you know what we could do especially it being saturday night and it being on the heels of sunday we can say a prayer for ourselves we can say a prayer for those around us and we can even say a prayer for the haters. So God bless each and every one of you. Have a great night.